Always pays to call ahead and today we're at the Five Bells in Braybourne. I've got the opportunity to meet Scott, their head chef, who's going to be cooking up some yummy things. But he tells me it involves pork and place. How does that work? Come inside and have a look and we can see what's going on. Nice to meet nice you. To so, I'm here, you're making something quite interesting today. Tell me more. Yeah, that's right. Uh, place is all better. It's not a bit of a weird concoction. Um, some people wouldn't think it is, but, you know, people wouldn't think anything about it. So, it's got some sweet bacon to go over or sweet stuff. So, that's okay. important, isn't it? So, yeah, of course. Yeah, why not? Sounds yummy. Can we go and take a look in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah come on. Fantastic. Let's go have a look. Right, this is the place, sourced from Bandonets, where local fishermen fishes, uh, basically brings in whatever he's got. So all local? All local, yeah, all our fish is local. So what do you need? Well, I'm going to do some nice local green cabbage, butternut squash, and a sauce which is with anchovies, and some chestnuts. Um, so I think I'll start with the cabbage. So, I'm going to do that. Let's use many of the arrows, just do it there. And they're nice and green, the outer leaves. Can you use something different to cabbage? I think mean, you could use um, green beans or something. Okay. Nice or it doesn't necessarily have to be cabbage. I think it's just because at the moment yeah. it's in at the moment. You know? yeah. so, so whatever you can get at the supermarket. Yeah. So a nice fine cabbage. I've peeled back the squash. So what I'm going to do is take the off. Okay. Right, so we need the squash. That's done. So what I'm going to do is just um, rub it in. No, I would have them. I'll find you with them. Uh, with um, some rice and garlic. So literally just... It's when you close, you're not even going to peel them. I'm just going to put a bit of oil in a hot pan. And straighten the box. What kind of oil is that? Just, just oil? Yeah, just um, sunflower oil. Yeah. Um, right. Always get the oil. Get it hot. Yeah. And then we can go straight into our wood oven to roast it. So I'm going to have more garlic and rosemary. Right? Got some garlic here. I've just crushed the cloves there like that. So I'm just going to put in some garlic and then some rosemary. Right? Okay. And then we're going to go straight to the wood oven. So that's gone in the wood oven? Yeah. Um, how long does that need to cook? Uh, uh, less than 10 minutes, I'd say, probably about 8 minutes. Okay. Um, and what's next? Uh, the sauce is next. I'm going to use sauce now. Right, so we've got the uh, we braised the uh, pork in a uh, beer, shrimp ale. Okay. Um, so we've kept that liquid in here. And we're just going to use that to make sauce with the anchovies and the chestnuts. If somebody wants to braise their own meat at home, <coughs> what would you recommend? Same like pork belly. Yeah, a long amount of time, but on a low temperature. So braise it evenly. What's the long so amount of time? I would six hours. Really that yeah, it depends how big the cut of meat is. Right, so with the sauce, I'm going to use a bit of the anchovy oil. Can I be honest? I really don't like anchovies. Is there something that you can use as an alternative thing in the dish? I think it's quite important part of it, really, the anchovies. Okay. Try well, one. Let's try one. These are good anchovies. Oh, gosh. They're not like the ones you get out of the tin. Okay. The oil's really nice as well. Okay. There you go. Wow. Those are absolutely amazing. Instead of just putting oil in, I'm going to use the yeah. anchovy oil. Get the flavour of the anchovy as well. Just use a shallot. So you just want one shallot, really. You could dice it up, but you know, it's nice like that, I think. Yeah. Oh, 
Right. Uh, Chestnuts. Where, where is best to get them from? These are actually like backpack chestnuts. They've come prepared. Dry chestnuts. Thank you. Mm. I'm so hungry now. Okay, put a nice shallot. Just going to soften it a little bit. A little piece of pepper. Very fine. Then our chestnuts as well. Okay. You've actually sort of softened them down. It can easily be done at home. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to add some uh, shrimp for ale. Okay, where's that from? Uh, Graves End. Okay. So local like sauce? Yeah, local sauce. So we're going to go straight in with that. Huh? Just want to get it cooking really, just take the bit and it's like the beer taste out of it. Really. But we did, we did cook our pork belly in this as well, oh, so okay. the pork's taken on flavour bit as well, yeah. and this is the liquid that we got out of the pork, <laughs> so as soon as our pork and beer got stopped. Oh. Okay. How much of that will you add to the sauce? Probably about the same as the beer really, okay. I'll, I'll probably add what, one, two, three soup dessert spoons or a couple of that. Right, I'll just check our squash. Yeah, see our squash is nearly there now. So, what about the pork? I've already put that in the oven. It takes about 10 minutes to heat up. Okay. All we've done is uh, heat it up in a bit of our pork liquid that we cooked in. I've got to check out a little So how far here can you pre-cook that? Well, you could do it the day before if you wanted, or on the day. Um, basically I'll just yeah, leave it so the, uh, the fat is out of the water. So then how crispy it is you heat it up in the oven. That's not that far away, see it's nice and soft. So Far away, that. Fish. So how long would it take to cook that fish? You well, to be honest, because it's flat fish, it's on the bone. There's a bone yeah. in the middle, sort of mm -hmm. like that. So you sort of fish, bone, fish. So it's only really that's bone there. So it's only really that thick. It's not going to take long at all, really. Okay. So Scott, will you be filleting that? Um, no, we're well, not going to fill it actually. Um, we're going to serve it whole. So we're just going to flour the fish slightly. So what do you flour the fish? Uh, just to protect it really from like the heat. Um, so the skin is experienced, yeah. Um, so yeah, we go skim some more. I'm going to pull that all out, just like this too. Shall we cook it too much oil? How long will it take for the fish to cook? Uh, about five minutes. Okay. So it's a little bit sort of pan. If I was doing this for a dinner party and wanted to cook this for more than one person, could I do it in a more conventional oven? Still flour it, onto yeah. an oil seasoned tray, okay. put some butter on it and just do it on your grill. Right, okay. Um, yeah, and you again, would say, it only be about five minutes for well, conventional until, grill? You'll know, I think, when it's good. You know, it's, it's still the, it just starts to go at the top of the fish, it's sort of like that, where it starts to come off the bone. That's oh, okay. So that's when you know it's ready. Yeah, it's ready. Ah. Right, just now I'll carry it earlier. Is this just being steamed? No, it's just going to blanch it quickly. Should we go into our basket? How long does a cabbage um, go in for? A couple of minutes, just until it's um, soft, really. It's not too soft, but you don't have to do it. Right. Uh, sauce. Yeah, the sauce is reduced down now. See if most of the liquid's gone. What I am going to add to my anchovies here, it's good to just, just in half really, don't need to break up too much, and then we put a bit of tomato. Just for a bit of freshness of tomato. Does all the tomato go in? Just so that was about yeah. a quarter, yeah. Right, so yeah, it's just the anchovies, tomato, squeeze a lemon at the end. And uh, some spring onion. Oh. 
tools. So I've just put in the tomatoes, spring onion, and chopped anchovy. Our cabbage is ready, so I'm just going to put a little bit of butter into this pan here. We're going to put our cabbage into there. Nice pepper, cabbage. Put the butter into the sauce now. Just a spoonful. Yeah, a spoonful of butter, just to make it like a bit of a, almost like a, just to get it sort of emulsifying a little bit, so it becomes sauce. Right, the cabbage is ready. Final squash is ready now, it's nice and roasted. See, the, you just push there like that. Yeah. See, that's just, as it, it just gives there, so you know the fish is ready. Oh. So I brought you ready. It's nice and soft. Oops, sorry. Fish here. See how it's not some moist bits. Smells amazing. So all the sauce from the pork, will that go in? Yeah, I just put that straight into. It's all the liquid in the pan. Yeah, that goes straight in there. That'd be lovely. So if you are having a dinner party, you can kind of pre-plan, can't you? This yeah, dish? definitely. Yeah, I mean, you haven't got to play it up. It's just how I think we're going to play it up. So it's just the fish to cook fresh. At the moment, when, when you've got your guests turning up and before, yeah, they done before. Okay, some nice squash. I love the colours. Yeah, I think that's quite yeah, cool. Yeah, very autumnal. Nice green cabbage as well. And then into the sauce. Just going to finish it with squeezing lemon and then some parsley. <laughs> Hmm. Nice. So we should get all that fish. Very, very good. Shoot, go away, this is my